This is Dharma Dasa. I can't... We are out here in the beautiful Sri Lankan countryside in a village called Nilagama. As we were walking around, I heard a banging sound in the forest, so I followed my ears and it led me to a house. Inside of this house was an old man hitting a hammer into a piece of wood. So what is your name? How old are you? 68. He told me that he's a self-taught woodcarver of 47 years. In his previous life, he was a farmer, but left for his passion to carve wood from dead trees. Why? Because it makes him happy. Thank you. Thank you. This man has turned his hobby into a career without any use of technology to this day, and you can see it in his smile how happy he is. So his bed is right here, and his workshop is right here. He wakes up and walks about three steps to work. His home is about as simple as they come. Look at these massive spider webs on his house. Day and night, he passes time by skillfully crafting wood from its natural form into a masterpiece. This is like the polish here, which looks like butter. Oh, he does it all with his fingers. Oh, it smells really good. Some projects take him up to two weeks to complete, which he then sells for about $100 at local markets in Sri Lanka. Yeah, all these years of carving, he's developed like quite big muscles. But Dharmadasa is not doing it for the money. In fact, he said that money never fueled him to work. He enjoys living a peaceful life far away from any big cities. And uh, Mr. Dharmadasa, he said, and he don't like to visit the uh, city and Colombo, and he's, he loves to stay back home. The village is more peaceful, and he's very like to, very happy to stay in the village. What is one message that you want to give to the world or to anyone watching this? <laughs> He said to the world, who, uh, all the audience, and uh, he said, whoever like for this art, they have to come to, uh, come and join and uh, contact them. And he's more than happy to help for the uh, young generation, whoever want to start this wood carving art. Once again, I'm just reminded that the simple life is the good life. You don't need a lot of money to be happy. And usually from my travels, I've realized that the less money you have, the happier you are. And this man is a perfect example of this. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. Let's look at some mind-blowing mix facts. 68 million customers are served daily, or 1% of the world's population. There's 36,000 branches in 118 countries.